So I am out in the Deschutes National Forest, uh, just west of the town of Sisters. Beautiful area to come out, set up camp, and hang out for a week or so. Uh, there's only one problem. I'm not alone. There's a husband and wife out here somewhere uh, who came out, went camping, had their camp trailer in their truck, and the battery died on their truck. So now they're stranded out there. They also have dead batteries on their camp trailer, so they can't even use those batteries to start the truck. So now we got to go find them and give them a jump start. Now I know what you're thinking. Are you really going to make an entire video about a jump start? And the answer is yes. Yes, I am. Because there's a little more to this than your average jump start. So the problem is he doesn't have enough phone service to actually call me on the phone and have a conversation to tell me where he is. Which means he also doesn't have enough phone service to send me a pin drop of his location. So how we've been communicating is he's been typing out a text message, then walking all around in the woods, hoping it actually goes through. Then I get it, I type out a text message back, send it back to him, hoping that he walks around enough in the woods to get it. And between doing that, we've got enough information back and forth that I think I know where he's at as long as we're talking about the same creek. So I am gonna head out there. We've got about an hour, hour and a half drive to get to where he's at or where I think he's at. We're gonna see if we can find him. Then we're gonna see if we can get him jump started, And then we're gonna see if we can all get back out of there. So let's get going. Got a really strange like jolt almost and then a squeal like almost a belt squeal and then it it went away so checking over the belt I'm almost wondering if a rock or something got kicked into it and locked the pulley up for a second squealed the belt up, kicked it out I don't see anything wrong belt looks fine I'll roll it over a little bit and take a look again but just wanted to stop and check that out before I ended up broke down out here too. You never know what's gonna happen out in the woods. Just look at the views out here. That's a uh, North Sister, South Sister, and then broken top over there the one that blew up and is broken now but yeah just amazing amazing views out here beautiful spot to come out and camp Now this is Pole Creek here. It flows down along here. Beautiful place to camp out here. But I believe our guy is off of Wychus Creek. So we're gonna keep heading up this road and get over to the next ridge where Wychus Creek is. Okay, we're down along Wychus Creek right here. And there's a bunch of little campsites down next to it. And I believe 
which should be getting pretty close because the next intersection which should be past where he's at is not too far up here and look at that right there nice little campsite there's another one I know of up here that's big enough you can get a travel trailer into and he said he's got a trailer so maybe that's it Oh, I see a box in the road right there. That's probably a marker to let me know he's that way. And yep, there's a truck and a trailer. It says stop. Please help on that box. So... Let's go around this way because it looks like it'll lead us towards the front of his truck. I have my jump pack, but I also brought the jumper cables just in case that's not enough. All right, let's see if our little jump box will do it. I don't know why I shut that one. I just have to open it right back up. Doesn't make any sense. Nothing? Nothing? It's going. Okay, still nothing. We hooked the jump pack to it. Didn't do anything, so now we put full cables to it. The batteries have 12 and a half volts. Why won't it start? All right, so the truck's not starting even with the jumper cables hooked to my truck. And if we look here, if I hook all this up, we have 14 volts at the second battery, meaning everything has juice just fine, which driving all these washboard rough roads, very likely something came loose. So, so you don't see any issues here though, correct? No. Okay, so after a whole bunch of diagnosis, uh, it seemed like it seemed like all the fuse panels didn't have power going to them. This is what feeds power to them. This main distribution block has power. This post has power. This one has power. This one has power. This one did not, and this, this wire did not, but the plate down there did. So I took all that apart. It was a little bit loose. I took it all apart. I wire brushed all the connections all the way around in there really good. Then it now had power and I can hear the radio and all kicking on inside the truck. So we've been, we've been doing all kinds of diagnosis. And now the whole screen that was dead lights up and the truck starts. All right, well, his truck is running. Well, I think the only person happier than he is is his wife because they can finally go home. They've been camping out here for about a week and uh, yesterday I think was supposed to be their go home day and they decided to extend their trip by another day, but all good now, they can get hooked up and head home. That is a problem I run into fairly regularly on these forest service roads like this with vehicles that are broke down. Uh, a lot of times it's just something vibrated loose. Uh, parts fall off, wires vibrate loose. Can, like that one right there is a, a electrical connection. It vibrated loose enough, it just wasn't making contact anymore. I pulled it apart, wire brushed all the surfaces on each side, tightened it back up and the uh, camera's falling over tightened it back up and uh, all of a sudden truck fired right up and everything was fine so it didn't have any mechanical issue it was just a bad connection actually had a very similar one last year uh, about this time actually in these same woods uh, a guy and his wife had drove out uh, they went hiking got back in their truck to start it back up and the starter just spun didn't start the truck so I drove out here and uh, turned out the whole starter had bolts and vibrated loose and the starter was just hanging from the block so one bolt was still there. I used that to bolt it back in place. I had another bolt in my truck. I put that one in it. 
and they're able to fire it right up and uh, I had to pull them backwards a little bit I think I did have to winch them out and then get them turned around and back down the mountain but same deal these washboard roads just vibrate everything and sooner or later something's gonna fall off I'll put a link to that video it's uh, there or there I don't remember where they go so click that link and you can go watch that video and we are back to the pavement which means that is it for this video uh, just a quick little jump start that turned into an hour of diagnosing and figuring out what was going on with that truck we got it figured out we got it started up and he is good to go so uh, that was a lot of fun very nice spot out in the woods definitely got to do some camping up here myself this summer and uh, it's gonna be it so hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll see you next time